Hi, I'm Hans, this is Franz, and we are here to bump you up. Uh, wrong clip. This base, My Sandberg California, is now finally available for everyone as the base the world signature base from Sandberg. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Gregor and on bass we have my buddy René Flexenhardt today. If you've ever watched this channel, you've seen this bass. This is my Sandberg California TT4 masterpiece in Tobacco Sunburst that was custom built for me in 2011. This bass looks and sounds so good over the years I've been receiving hundreds, well thousands of comments and messages asking for what this bass exactly is, what it's called and all its little secrets. So I'm very happy to say there are no secrets anymore. You can now find these basses at your Sandberg dealer in your area. In 2015, Sandberg introduced a redesign for the California models, a new slimmer, lighter and modern version of their popular series. My old base weighs 4.2 kilos. This one here, the Swamp Ash version in the new design weighs only 3.6 kilos. And the version with European ash body puts close to 4.1 kilos on the scale. This one also sounds closer to my old base. <laughs> The base, the world base, is a normal California only with three little changes. The heart of the creation are the Kloppmann pickups. They're hand wound here in Germany and they're filthy expensive, but they're worth every cent. They're real single coils, as it's supposed to be in a passive configuration like this. The controls are volume, volume and tone. Since my original was built in 2011, Andreas Kloppmann has introduced a new version of this pickup set. This one gets treated a bit differently and they produce a nice low mid bump, which works really well for the bridge pickup. That's why I decided to mix the sets with the standard version at the neck and the new Leckard one at the bridge. The other change is of course the bridge. I chose a Goto Vintage style design for that old school dynamic tone response. For any decent rock bass, give me a heavy solid bridge all day, but for this, I think the Goto is just right and it's also true to my original. Apropos that, chasing the grail wasn't really the target for this project here. Obviously these designs have changed and obviously these spaces sound a little different. Heck, mine has been continuously dangled on for the past 11 years. That changes tone. The idea was rather to take these amazing pickups and put them into a new vintage inspired series. These two bases are both from that series but require vastly different heights of stacks of bills. Uh, this one is the simple entry version. It's an ash body, it's a mud finish, no inlays, just plain and simple. This one here is the top of the line model. We have a swamp ash body, we have block inlays, we have this rather intense aging job which is called masterpiece and these, these go for more than twice as much as the basic model so yes it's very good to have options but to be honest i enjoy the slightly heavier ash body a bit more there's just a bit more low end but if you want something extremely light i mean by all means go for the swamp ash or if you want to go even lighter go for the super light option with the polonia body then this base will weigh less than three kilos as we speak there's also an older body version being built that we might want to go for for future aged versions of the space we're not sure yet, uh, we will see. At the moment we are offering the base the world base in black or in tobacco sunburst and you can get them in mud, also of course sunburst mud and all these different aging versions. But if you want to go for something completely different, don't hesitate to contact your Sandberg dealer. I mean custom colors is a thing at Sandberg and just go crazy. I would like to see what you come up with. What they definitely all have in common is the maple neck, of course only until we do a rosewood, which I'm really interested in. Uh, we have these club pickups, we have the Goto Bridge, and we have Dunlop Super Bright Marcus Miller signature strings, which sound amazing on the space with these club so 
Yeah. And of course, they have the base the world logo on the back of the headstock. Over the next day, Sunpack will release two runs of bases. First 10 like this, and then a limited run in the cool custom color. If you're interested in one of these bases, just contact your Sandberg dealer. I can't wait to see these bases in your hands and hear what you will do with them. I'm just, I'm super, super proud as you can hopefully see. So thank you very much Sandberg Guitars for making this happen. Uh, this is really cool. But also of course, thanks very much to you, my audience, because without you, this would just be a base sitting in my room. And with you, it's a VIB, a very important base now, which is now a signature model, which is amazing. So I'm happy, I'm proud. That's it. Again, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just put them in the comment section below. Please like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Please buy our merch and see you again next time. Oh, and uh, I'm flying today to Chicago. So if anyone is near Chicago by any chance, there's a ba base base uh, this weekend. I will be there. I will have some bases with me, some of those. So come around. Bye bye. <laughs> Based on the